Hey everybody, well I'm over here at home. I'm just got kind of here doing a little bit of grocery shopping and um I uh, made this video extra special, put a better resolution on it because I want to show my Bible here, this uh, waterproof Bible. Let me just show you here. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if I can focus in right there. On this thing right here, I bought this for like twenty two to some odd dollars. There's a slight imperfection. You can see right there where the um, not a lot of glue is touching there, and that's another reason why I guess I got it so cheap. It's like twenty-two some odd dollars, but that's probably why they put this thing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably end up buying me another, uh, get me another one, um, along with this one. See this right here? These are called signatures, and they're stitched in there. And plus the um, the covering here, and um, you can probably see my name. Whoop, wrong side. And bows on it. You see it right there. You know, but um, you got the uh, introduction in there, and it tells you about it, who to present it to, the authorized or King James version. That uh, let's see, the text is conformable to that of the. Edition of 1611, commonly known as the Authorized or the King James Version. So, you about the Bible, it tells you about the. You can go to waterproofbible.com and, and about this Bible. I love the, I love the way the sound pages sound. Very nice. I may end up getting me another one because I want to. I want to use this one for um for demonstrations and stuff like that. Let me pause this for a minute. So this is what it looks like without the covering on it. It's uh okay. Where do I have it? It's the camouflage type. I love a floppy, floppy Bible, and this is floppy. Barden was telling me it's like it lays flat pretty good, but when you get close to the end, it just the being this plastic, you know, it's gonna pull over, you know, things like that. But really, it's doing pretty good there. You got a tap screen, I guess. <clears throat> Seems to really be a really nice Bible, and um, as far as putting it to the test but I'm going to use this as a uh, demonstration by I'm going to end up getting another one and um, later on I'm going to do some tests upon it and uh, check out its waterproof ability see here put a little bit of water there Water. See. Wipe off. I know what you're saying. Come on, but you could do better than that. Okay, I will. And it's real smooth. Look there, smooth. I will, well, I promise, but I gotta get ready to go to work. Let me tell you from the get-go. You don't want to put it in sand or mud. You don't want to put sand or mud that has been contaminated with oil or gasoline. Because those are petroleum-based products. And plastic, as you know, is um, something that you get from the ground. It's some bugs trying to take my face. That you get from the ground. It's, it's a comes from fossil fuels or whatever or so here we go so first of all I want to show you these this I don't know if it does zoom in really well there we go I'm trying to find the italic see he's got italics see Joe 5 
things like that. And it's also got colons, semicolons, dashes, things like that. Let's see here, where's the semicolon? Question marks, um, things like that. And just as much, um, I was talking about the, uh, the, uh, the petroleum based stuff, about the sand and all that stuff. And the same goes to for a gel pen. If you take, if you're riding this thing with a gel pen, you're going to leave an impression. Because evidently it has some kind of petroleum based stuff in the ink that makes the ink flow smooth or something. I don't know, but, um, I tried it in the back here. And, um,. Actually, it came right off paper here, but it was not paper, it was plastic sheet, and it left an indentation. So, Bobby Barden, I believe, tells, you know, uh, mentioned in his videos or or something or on whatever it was that, you know, you don't want to use a gel pen or whatever on this. But anyway, it left a bit of an impression. So a good way we can check this out, let's see here. Did you see one of the time once they put B H B H. Okay. So I mean you can let it stay there for a while, what have you. You know, but it'll come right off. See, it'll come right off. It leaves a little impression, but that part will come right out. All I got to do is find me a paper towel and it rub right out. If I open it, let's see, about halfway. And you grab your one sheet of paper, well, one page rather, let's just call it that. You make sure you got a firm grip on it. Oh, oh, look at there. Ain't tore out yet. Okay. There we go. So, see, there's a little bit of bubble gaps in the glue there. But anyway, we've shown the rideability and the durability, I think. Flap it out a little bit more. You can probably do this to dry it off. Take about half of it. Shake it out like that. Grab the other half, like so. Shake it out like that. Probably about midway, about Jeremiah's Psalm, something like that. But again, if I haven't told you already, don't take a gel pen and when you're riding it, it doesn't come out and when it doesn't come all the way out automatically, don't freak out. Just make sure when you test it out, there's no oil based or slick or petroleum type stuff in the water source that you put it in because it'll probably likely give a little iridescent <laughs> rainbow color to your Bible. But anyway, let's see if I can get that ink stain out, huh? Okay, so I try to get more of that out. I can see probably a bit more than you can. Um, but you can still see a faint BH. That's because it was the pressure of the um the uh, the tip going through the plastic, I guess, the um that made that on there. But if we go further up, you know, you see about the same thing there. Where I did that mark there. Okay, so let's try to pin, shall we? Put it on pause for a second. Try to pin. Okay, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pin, I believe it's the ballpoint pin, and I'm gonna put the date on it. And that's the date of the day. As whenever I got it, I'm gonna say uh received. I hope I didn't spell that wrong. Um there we go. Four, twelve, 
14. Okay. So there. Now, the theory is you shouldn't be able to get that out. But it's smeared a little bit. That's because it probably ain't dry enough. Just to show you, I got water on my fingertips. Okay? Can't get it out. That's set. It's permanent. That will not come out. Other than this, see, I can't even smear it no more. I won't even smear it no more. Because it's dried in there now. You're trying to get it out too bad, so sad, Jack. Wet fingers. A little bit of tea on there, too. Won't come out now, Jack. <laughs> Okay. Let's see what zoom in. There we go. Zoom back in there, boy. That boy, it's hard to do things with one hand, you know. There we go. So there we go. It's set in there. The received text. No wires. No tricks. One page. Okay, now let's try the um, highlighter. Office Depot highlighter. Let's underline Sodom. Can you see that? Okay. Now let's take a, I don't know what kind of, it might be a dry highlighter, so I better be careful. Uh, it doesn't say that. Okay. Let's take a little bit of water. And wipe off. Voila. There is no more highlighter mark on there, Jack. Mm. Let's try it again in case you're doubtful. Let's try it one more time. Come on. Run over it. Okay. So, wipe clean. Wipe clean. Wipe clean. Wipe clean. Wipe clean. There it is right there. That's where the highlighter marks went. Do, do, do. Just that simple. I say, uh, I say, uh, it's, it's, a uh, I say, uh, it's a strong and. Okay, so you're gonna see a book bag today. <clears throat> this is the cover. And that's my name there on it. And, uh, waterproof. EMP or Prog logo. So I took the outer cover off. The waterproof jacket. La da 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 Couple minutes it's been in there. Made a little bit of a mess on the floor, didn't mean to. Hmm. How about that? <clears throat> Strained water. There, squeeze the water out of it. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to tell you, if you don't want to have to worry about drying every page or worried about um, all the water getting out, you can see now it's 
since it's took a bath, it's kind of pages are still sticking together because of that residue of the water is still in there. If you don't want to have to worry about that, I suggest you not. You can see the water beating up. I suggest you not fully submerge this sucker because you're going to have a, a world over time trying to get all the water off the pages and stuff because it's going to. It's like you got to put to, you know, you might, you might, I can stand it up, but you got to rough out the pages. See how the pages, they're still sticking together, but that doesn't mess with the conforming, the, the, uh, the, uh, the structure of the book. You know what I'm saying? It, the plastic pages are, um, still as they are. The binding is not warped or anything like that. You know, it's, it's still in the, um, the form it, it was, was in before I put it in the sink. You see it's still beating up there when I squeeze it. See how it go. And then I suggest you don't put it in the sink or your bathtub or whatever else. Not unless you want to have to deal with that. And you know, if you don't have no problem, if you take it to the pool house or whatever, and you dip in the water and you're reading the Bible in the water just to show off or have fun or whatever, show it to some people. And that that's you know that's different. But if you if you um, <coughs> see there's beating again. See. Ooh. Sweat beads. I don't know if you can see that. A light, daggum light. But if you don't want to have to deal with that, then I suggest you don't um, do as I did. If you spill a little bit of water on it, fine. But if you're going to go and want to just throw it in there, be expected that you don't want to have, if you don't have some air hose or something like that, you're going to have to dry every page. And when you're blowing the air on water out of it, make sure the pages don't ruffle up and bend and everything else. Because if you, if you throw it in the water, you're going to have pretty much a sponge. So don't go flopping out and get the pages all bent up. That's all I'm going to do for now. It sounds a whole lot better than it did. Both of the pages are sticking together. <clears throat> and uh, now don't blow the air through there. It sounds a whole lot better. Take care. See you later.